Okay, fish on, guys. Good side one. Hey, guys. Uh, so I caught a bunch of, uh, uh, got a toao, a uh, humu, and a uh, hawkfish. We got more down here. Guys, another one. But, uh, there you go. Thank you, one. All right. All right, guys. Another smaller one. Uh, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm gonna let it go. All right, guys. Number two here. Woo! You guys out surfing, a couple turtles. All right, Ooh, big one. You guys, check this out. Big monster. Look at this guy, huh? Ay, ay, ay. A lot of meat on this thing. I don't know if it's good or not, but. Guys, pulled in a, a good size towa right here. Another one, nice. Okay, little baby one, guys. So, I'm gonna let this one go. Hey guys, check it out. So here's a, a hawkfish. Um, really good sashimi, and look at that. It's a crab right there in the stomach. So, you know, their diet is crab and shrimp. And uh, they're all along the reef over here, you know. So if you guys get a chance to get one of these, try it out sashimi or miso soup. Uh, these are the bigger ones. It's probably as big as it gets. The baby, other ones over here, a little baby one. Not a baby one, but smaller size. But still big for a hawkfish. And then the towel here, I just cleaned it up. And then the humus over here cleaned it up too. Took everything from the inside. So now these are very smelly guys. Uh, they smell. So what you do is you cut it up and then you um, take the meat off and then you wrap it in um, a paper towel and then you keep it in the fridge for like a day or two and then um, the smell goes away and it's really good tasty meat. You know, especially if you fry, uh, what do you call it? Not fry it, but pan fry it or panko or something. Really good meat. Um, these we're gonna steam. I've got another another one over there, smaller one. And they're invasive, so you got to take them out of the water. But that's a big, uh, big towel right there. So overall, very happy today, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, my hair is all short. I'm all, uh, got my suntan and everything. <laughs> anyway, guys, aloha. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, aloha. Guys on. Hey, guys. I caught another one. I just left the bait in there. This guy came up, and I was cleaning it. Man, a big old shark came by and bit my, bit my, uh, towel. Damn, just anyway. Just remember there's sharks everywhere. I wasn't paying attention and he just came by and just swiped it. 
man. Oh well, I'm still going to eat it. But uh, I got to get rid of this guy. I think uh, I have enough fish for today. So, all right, guys. Hello. Hey guys, so this is what we caught um, the other day. I got the two trigger fish here, the black humus. I've caught uh, the toal, got eaten up by the shark there that went under my leg the other day. Um, and then the two uh, po'opa'as, which are the, called the hawkfish. And they're excellent sashimi meat in here. The diet is uh, shrimp, crab, and small fish. So uh, very tasty. If you haven't tasted it, try it. Um, the heads are good for uh, miso soup too, by the way. So, and then we have, of course, the Thai here. And I'm gonna make sashimi out of these two. Uh, well, actually, all all of them. But uh, these I never had before sashimi. I heard it's really good, so I'm gonna try it. And then the rest of the meat, I'm gonna steam it with the uh, the pink snap here, the Thai here. So, all right, guys, um, gotta get to work here. Okay, aloha. So that's the uh, daikon, mushed up a little bit, take the water out of there, and then we want to get some, a uh, little bit of the sauce here, the spice. So here it is again, and that's the one you want. Brand new. And you just basically want to hold on, take the thing off. And you just want to pour it on a little bit, not too much, guys. There you go, kind of make it red. Oh, by the way, guys, I got a new pole. <laughs> I was 
uh, gluing the other pole together and the super glue went it, it uh, hardened so fast that uh, I didn't have time to even turn the second part so it's like crooked and everything so that one's done so I had to go buy another one here at Jay Hara's And this one is actually uh, like a nine footer, which is really nice because you get that angle. The six footer was good for like, sh you know, like, uh, I don't know what it was really good for. It wasn't really good for casting that much, but I did catch some fish, so I can't complain. But it's history now, so. But I wanted to share that with you guys. And I'm always thankful for uh, my guys that uh, sent me stuff, like Mr. Hara from Japan. You know, he sent me this Shradic 4000, unbelievable uh, reel. It's the only one I actually use now. I do use the other BG, but. In comparison, it's like night and day, so I've been just sticking with this one when I go out fishing. I mean, this thing is uh, the best one, so. Mr. Hara, thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. All right, guys. Woo, big toe out, man. Nice. <laughs> right on, brothers. That's a good one. Man, the... Uh, a lot of power in these little guys. Not too little. Very happy. We are the sashimi on this one. Ugh. All right, guys. Uh, sorry, I didn't have my camera on, but uh, second toe out right here. Good sashimi again. I don't know what it is guys, but it's pretty big. Oh, it's shiny. Oh, it might be a papillo. It is a papillo. Wow. Look. Woo! Good size. I was not expecting catching this. Woo! Wow. Woohoo! <laughs> I usually can't, this is my first time I caught a Omilu on a, uh, on bait guys. First time ever. It's always, uh, I always cast it out with, um, you know, my lure. Wow, that's exciting. I was not expecting that. It felt like it was a, um, like, like the reef or something, you know? And I was like, ah, dang, another reef. I was about to just pull it to find out. It's a Omilu. That's insane. Oh boy, look at this mess. Hey guys, wow, what a beautiful day today is, man. It turned out really uh, nice. The wind has really calmed down. I, I would want to go out for another two hours or three hours, but uh, man, I'm exhausted. I've been out here since uh, 9, 8.39, so almost, uh, almost five, six hours, damn. But um, yeah, so today was a good day. Awesome day. Look at this. Didn't expect this big old Omilu. I don't know how big it is. Probably like a 16 inch there. And then these toe owls, man. Look how big they are. Big toe owls. So I'm going to clean this up. And uh, wow, just a beautiful day. Look, guys. Just can't get over it. 